Hi and welcome to this video where I'm going to show you how to apply a box shadow to a square or rectangular element on our page and we're going to apply the box shadow so that it's inside the element and so that it's curved and on the left and right hand side of the element so looking like this here where we have our curved shadows so let's look at some code for this the first thing I'm going to do is add a div which is going to be the box itself and I'm going to give that a class of shadow 5 and that's all the markup we'll need now we need to include some styles so first of all I'm going to style up the body of the page giving it a background of hash DDD which is a light grey colour then giving it a margin of 0 to remove any default margin from the page next I'm going to style up the div itself give it a background colour of white and give it a width of 400 pixels, height 200 pixels, um, give it some padding, give it some margin, and float it left. Now we're going to be creating the shadows using pseudo elements, and pseudo elements are basically elements that will appear as the first and last child of um, a parent element and so I'm going to show you how to do that now but before we do that I'm going to select the div um, with the shadow 5 class and I'm going to position it relative and I'm going to give it an overflow hidden now the reason I'm doing this is so that we can style the pseudo elements or position the pseudo elements um, relative to this parent element which is the div itself and also the overflow hidden is crucial so that we don't see the box shadow on the pseudo elements which I'm going to apply we actually just see the blur of the box shadow and that'll all become clear later on so the next thing I need to do is create a pseudo element and I'm first of all going to create um, I'm first of all going to create a before pseudo element and this means that I just create an element which is going to sit as the first child of the element with the shadow 5 class. Now I need to apply content um, and the content value is just going to be an empty value here because we don't want anything there we just want to see a box shadow. Now I'm going to give it a position absolute so that I can choose exactly where I want this to be positioned. Then I'm going to give it a width of 10 pixels. I'm going to move it left from its usual position by 10 pixels so this will mean we don't see the box shadow applied to it as I was saying earlier we just see the, the blur and then going to give it a height of 90% move it down from the top by 5% and that's all we need to do in terms of positioning finally I'm going to apply a box shadow which is going to have an X offset of 0, Y offset of 0 blurred radius of 17 pixels and an RGBA color 0, 0, 0, 0, 0.6 so there we are let's see what that looks like on the page here we can see the shadow of the pseudo element and not the pseudo element itself so if I'm to open up developer tools and remove the overflow hidden on the shadow you can see this is the main box shadow on the pseudo element and this is the blur of the pseudo element but obviously we don't want to see this bit we just want to see the blur and so that's why we have the overflow hidden now the final thing to do is apply an elliptical border radius and the reason I'm doing that is to curve that box shadow we saw a little bit more and to apply elliptical border radiuses you just have two values which are separated by a forward slash the first value being the horizontal radius and the second value being the vertical radius so here I'm going to have 5 pixels then 100 pixels. So I'm going to save that, go back to the page, refresh and you can see there that it's added a bit of curvature to that box shadow. Now finally I want to apply the same shadow or the opposite shadow on the right hand side. To do that I'm just going to copy all of these styles and instead create an after pseudo element which is going to be the last child of the div with class shadow 5 and then I'm going to change left to right 
to move the shadow 10 pixels to the right. So let's see what that looks like. There we are, we've got our, um, our nice border radius there as well.